Rose, any update on multiplayer? Uh, no meaningful update. Uh, I can say that we are working on it. Alright, the top five things that Factions 2 needs. And I'm going to do this whole video in one life with me running around with the military rifle, because why not? Okay, so the first one is pretty obvious. It's one of the most demanded things in Last of Us. Probably the most since Last of Us uh, came out. But the first one is a horde mode. Now this is a cooperative wave type mode where you try to survive among waves of infected over and over. And apparently they tried this on PS3 before it even came out. And they said the PS3 couldn't handle the AI and all the overhead that this mode would, would require. So uh, it seems pretty obvious with all the thousands of uh, people who have messaged them uh, demanding over the years that this has to be in a full-blown Factions 2 game, especially coming out on the PS5. Because they have no excuse to not put a cooperative horde mode into Factions 2. Next dedicated servers now as far as peer-to-peer -peer gaming goes number one it did it okay it wasn't that bad as long, if you had a solid connection you would probably almost never see the white plug so the host migration stuff is pretty bad but you guys need dedicated servers it's going to improve the lag and connection uh, there's not going to be disconnects if the host quits you guys need dedicated servers it's just that simple it's a full-blown exclusive, there's no excuse. Number three, this one kind of piggybacks off the last point. Um, but with those dedicated servers, you guys need upgraded tick rates. If you don't know what tick rates are, it's essentially just the refresh rate of the servers during the connection of online play. So competitive games like CSGO in that have an extremely high tick rate, like I don't know, 128 times a second. There are many times when you're playing Last of Us and you'll fight someone and you'll clearly get shot behind cover half a second to a second after you're way behind in cover and you'll think that guy's laggy and you'll check the scoreboard and he has five bars because your tick rate, your re server refresh rate is too low. It almost makes ping mean nothing to a certain extent because sometimes I've found people who would seem laggier at five bars than three. Like, you, need, you guys need to upgrade the tick rate for a more accurate uh, online. Number four, replayability. Now by this, I mean game modes. We need more of them. Capture the flag, capture the supplies would be fun. Maybe a deathmatch mode. We need more modes. There's only three. Uh, and then another aspect of this is unlockables we need more things to strive for as we play and unlock we need more rewards and number one there was almost nothing there's some cosmetics but honestly the only thing that was really worth going for was the dragonfly helmet i think that was the last unlock and it didn't take that long so we need more more stuff to strive for that make leveling up more meaningful and more fun okay the last point is simply better balance and number one, you got overpowered weapons, burst rifle, variable rifle, tactical shotgun. You got overpowered perks like sharpshooter, which nullifies everything that the gameplay revolves around and makes it a million times easier to just kill people. And then rewards you with health. And then you got the fact everyone can purchase armor and you can start off extremely cheap with it. Especially with the one use booster, you can get it so cheap. Now, if you run around with all these perks and advantages and no one else in the match is playing like that, you know you have a massive advantage and it's basically just playtime for you. It's easy. You just, you're unstoppable. It's, it's a joke. You guys got to make it so that it's at, obviously weapon balancing is crucial you got a three burst that's a close range weapon that you can one burst people across the map and it's in the description it's like a close range monster yeah you're not kidding if you guys got to balance this stuff better so you can't be running around like an absolute 
unstoppable force like that. It's just too easy to do in this game. So you guys got to balance that out. <laughs> People can throw on fast healing for two points. You, hear, you heal 75% faster. Like, it's just too easy to stockpile all this stuff. You guys got to fix that. But yeah, that's my list. Top five things that they need to add for factions too. It's a full $60 or $70 on PS5. Who knows? It's a full release. Don't take shortcuts. You guys are the, you guys are the flagship Sony company, essentially. So you have no excuse. Do it right. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. If you agree, hit that like button, whatever. If you want to sub, that's cool. If you disagree, report this video for a misleading title. All that good stuff, I'll talk to you guys later.